Hey lovelies, how are you doing? It's your girl Stella Damasas. I am so excited to be here. Okay, as a Nigerian woman that I am, an Igbo woman, I'm gonna greet you in my language. Nde wonu. To my Ghanaian brothers and sisters, I say Akwaba. How are you? I'm excited to bring diaries to you on Angel TV. I am so glad that I am finally here. I can't wait to share everything with you. My experiences, my thoughts, everything that I do, share it with you. Oh, isn't that great for the first time you are going to see everything that concerns me okay don't go anywhere i'll be right back she's so beautiful Welcome back. So most of you are wondering, what is diaries? Stella the Master's diaries. Okay, it's kind of like you having a physical book, a diary that you write everything in. You know, your, your thoughts, your, your experience, your journey, your process, everything that you just want to document. So instead of writing inside a journal, I decided to do it in form of a video for you all to see. I am here to share my life with you. Now, here's why I'm doing it. A lot of you would have read all sorts of things on the internet, on social media, you've watched videos, you've, you've, you've formed a perception of who you think Stella Damasis is. You're probably wrong, probably. There's so many things about me that a lot of people don't know. So many misconceptions, so many things. So this time, I want you to hear from me. I'm not gonna call myself horse, it's not a horse's mouth. <laughs> but I want you to hear from me, I wanna share everything with you, people who love me, people who want to get to know me, my life, my journey, my experiences, where I'm coming from, why I do the things that I do, the things that make me take, why I support what I support, all the fun things that you don't get to see. A lot of people don't know I know how to have fun. I have fun, major fun. In fact, I'm so goofy, you will not believe it. My friends will tell you, I am funny. Am I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it's very important that I do this just so that you get to enjoy life with me. You know, life is short. That's why I always say. Now, I started Diaries in 2013 when we moved to America. You know, I sat in my basement one day and I said, hey, wouldn't it be nice to just let people know the things that I like, the music, you know, the art, the, f the fun, my family, just groove with the world and just have fun and see the brighter side, the fun side of Stella. You know, what makes me me? People ask me that question. What, what does it mean to be Stella Damasus? Who is Stella Damasus? When people ask me that question, you know how you go like, oh, I'm from this place. I've done this. I'm here. I'm here. Eh, those things are cliche, generic answers, you know. But this time, it's like opening an onion and just removing one layer after the other, one layer after the other. That's kind of like what I'm trying to do, you know. With, with diaries and I'm hoping that as you go on this journey with me, you begin to understand more of who I am, beginning to see the other side of my life, you know, things that people don't get to see ordinarily on uh, social media or on the tabloids, get to hear me, my side, you know, the work that I'm doing, all the amazing things that I'm doing that a lot of people don't get to see because their businesses on the side here and there, you know, it, it's just, I love the fact that Angel TV found this um, important enough to share on the TV station. So it's a blessing to me to be able to share this with my Ghanaian brothers and sisters. This, the reason I keep saying Ghanaian brothers and sisters is not just because, you know, we're all Africans, which is a reason, but it's because Ghana actually happens to be my second home. Yes. From the time I was a teenager, I've always loved Ghana. The first place that I went on holiday that I really felt at home, like really loved everything, the beach, the food, the people, every, it was when I came to Ghana. Yes, people know that. It's always Ghana. When I'm talking to foreigners about Africa and where they should go to and everything, you know, it's always Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. I say, what is it about Ghana? I'm like, even I don't know. I just have this strong connection to Ghana. The, oh, gosh, Ghanaian women are beautiful. Mm, that melanin keeps popping. 
and the Ghanaian men, so nice and respectful. Yes, I must say so myself. I'm very happy about that. Warm, friendly people. The food. Ooh, I love the fufu. Mm. I love the banku. Hey, I love the palm nut soup. Hey, I love the dresses, the designs. I have seen Ghanaian designers that will stand anywhere in the world and they will compete with designers from Lebanon, from Israel, from Australia. Uh, and then the makeup, the art, the market. Ah, it's, in fact, I can't even begin to tell you the reasons why I love Ghana, you know? And I'm hoping that as I share my life with all of you, I get to meet, talk to people and all of that from Ghana and from other African countries as well. But yeah, I'm very excited. I can't tell you how excited I am because there's so many things that I've been wanting to say and share with all of you, but I haven't had the platform. I keep thinking, where do I say this? How do I, do I write it? Do I do a video? How, how long would I have a video on social media for them to understand the full, the fullness or, or every, the entirety of who Stella Damasus really is? I actually thought, hmm, should I do a reality show? But I don't, I, I, I don't see myself as that kind of person. <laughs> I don't see myself as that kind of person that wants to do a reality show. Not at all. So I said, okay, this is the best way for people to get to know me, you know. I am talking, I am, I'm not staging anything, I'm expressing myself to you. So you're going to be experiencing different things. Um, sometimes I will sit here and I will do my videos. Sometimes I will take you out with me. Sometimes you will meet members of my family, my friends. Um, sometimes I could go to a fun place and I will take you with me. I could travel and take you with me because I really, really want you to see me and see the other side of me. Um, it's going to be fun. Um, I'm going to make it as interesting as I can. My team and I, we just, we just want it to be real. You know, I don't want it to be stiff. It's not a TV show where I, I carry my cue cards and I'm talking and I'm, oh, hello, welcome. No, nah, I just wanted it to be fun. I wanted it to be casual. I wanted it to be relatable. I wanted you to be able to relate with me because there are so many people who have had similar experiences as I have people who are like me, people who think like me, people who see life like me, you know, but, um, and a lot of times people like us are easily, easily misunderstood. I'm not gonna lie. We are easily misunderstood for various reasons. For instance, someone asked me, are you an extrovert or an introvert? And I said, I'm an ambivert. And they're like, hey, Stella has started. What do you mean? I'm, like, I'm a mixture of both, but one is greater than the other. I'm a mixture of both. So it's going to take, you know, a couple of videos like this to explain who I am, why I think the way I do. But you'd be amazed, you'd be surprised to find that we have a lot of things in common. Yeah, you probably don't know that. A lot of people don't know that I like to dance. I dance, you know. But we have a lot of things in common. And I know that a lot of women out there as well will hear some of my stories, the true story the true story <laughs> and they'll be able to relate with what's really going on the truth behind most of the things that they've been wondering about or asking you know and all of that so this is going to be an interesting ride i was like panicking you know going into this i'm like am i going to expose myself too much for people am i going to leave myself open for people but i said you know what sometimes when you're vulnerable you're helping others, you're healing others, you're giving others the courage, the boldness to come out there and be themselves as well, to appreciate themselves. So I'm hoping that as we go along, you know, people begin to see themselves, you know, through me, through the way I see myself and relate with these things and be able to stand up and say, hey, I'm like this as well. I'm like that as well. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just who we are, okay? So um, don't go anywhere. I would really want you to stay with me on this one. This is gonna be a fun, fun ride. I cannot wait to share a lot of these things with you. So um, you're gonna have fun, that I promise you. But I'm coming right back. Do not go anywhere. We're gonna take a short break, okay? Africa. Welcome back. Um, so let me start by introducing myself Again, even though a lot of you know me already, <laughs> my name is Stella Damasus. Now, this is an opportunity for me to fix one issue I have had for years. There's no C in my name. 
It's Damascus, not Damascus. It is spelled D-A-M-A-S-U-S, -S, not S-C-U-S, okay? So it's not Stella Damascus. It's Stella Damascus. I'm hoping <laughs> that after today, you will know the real deal, okay? It's Stella Damascus. I'm from Nigeria, from a state now called Delta State, um, Asaba, to be precise. My village is called Umweze. So I'm Delta Igbo. I'm from the Igbo-speaking part of Delta State. I come from a Christian family, and we're five girls. I'm the last girl, so I have four older sisters. And um, I was born in a place called Benin City in Edo State, yes. And I schooled there for a bit before I moved to Asaba, then to Lagos, and then Abuja, then here in America. I live in America right now, yes, that's where I am. Um, I'm an actor, everybody knows that, but a lot of you don't know that I started out as a singer. I started singing background vocals, I started singing in commercials, doing jingles and all of that in a studio called Clink Studio in Surulere that was owned by a man called Kingsley Ogoro, where I met the most amazing musicians, producers, and a lot of people who I worked with singing. And then from then I joined a band, and this band um, my late hubby, Jaya Bodari, was a part of this band. And um, we formed our own band as well called Synergy Band. And I loved music. Acting came along the way. I mean, I know as a kid, I loved acting in school, you know. So we would do theatre, we would do drama. My mother would help me make costumes and all of that. And, you know, I would play Mary, the mother of Jesus. I would play Queen of Sheba <laughs> and all of that. I love the arts. It was clear to me. I love the arts because even when my parents wanted me to study sciences, I did study sciences, but I also took art classes because I wanted to study theatre arts in the university, which I did. So I actually have a degree in theatre arts. Mm -hmm. So, so um, acting came along the way through a friend of mine, came by accident anyway, and I did my first movie and people loved it. And I was paid. I was paid way more than I was earning as a singer. So I'm like, hmm, this seems cool. And then I started doing it, you know, and I started growing. Um, then I used to go from one audition to the other, from one audition to the other, but after a while, I realized that I didn't have to go for as many auditions anymore, I'll just do reading, you know, and then I started making movies. I was just in the movies and it was an interesting journey. My life took a different turn, but those turns had its highs and lows, its ups and downs, you know. Um, I met the most amazing man in the world, the most amazing man in the world, and his name was Jay, Jay Abodari, my late husband. And uh, I, I had my first daughter at the age of 21, Isabel. And my second daughter I had when I was 24. I had both my kids when I was in the university. Can you beat that? Hmm, Stella, my goodness. <laughs> anyway, um, that was... That was very interesting to, to, to find that I was a mother at 21 and 24. And then when I was 26, my hobby passed away. That was the most devastating time in my life. Um, I thought that would be the end of it, but here I am today. And now I have a 21 year old and an 18 year old. <laughs> I'm a mom of two grown women. Can you imagine? Um, yeah, the loss of my, my husband was one of the lowest points. This came after years because I lost my younger brother because I said there were five girls. We were actually six initially. I had a younger brother. He passed away when I was 13 and he was just 10 when he passed away. That was the first time that I had experienced loss. And then I was 26 and my husband passed. And then a few years later, my father passed. So it seemed like the male figures in my life were just dying. And I kind of felt, okay, God, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to make me realize that, you know, I need you more as a male figure in my life, as my father, my husband, my friend, my everything, before putting my whole trust in, in someone else? Is that what it is? Like, you know, and then a lot happened after that, uh, but my career was still you know, growing, I was doing good, people were beginning to know me. And then I had relationships that failed. 
I'm human. Sometimes it will work. Sometimes it will not work. But most of the time, nobody bothers to hear your side of the story because of the nature of our job. The media decides to write what they hear or what they feel or stories that have been concocted or whatever it is. And I'm like, you know what? I was never one to defend myself or go out there to fight and say, hey, it's not true. Hey, it's not true. So sometimes I let it go. People who know me, people who mattered, my friends, my family and my true followers would come to me, would send me messages. Are you OK? What's going on? Is there anything you need us to do? We're praying for you. And sometimes I'll say, hey, this is this is what's up. This is what's going on. And sometimes I'll just be like, you know, what? pray for me. I'm not going to get into it. So um, I was in another marriage that failed. I met a friend, a very good friend, and because of the pressure from different people, a lot of people don't understand what it means for women like me who already have kids, who become widows. They don't understand what it is to actually meet someone and take your time to marry. There's a lot of pressure. Oh, time is going. Oh, you're getting older. Oh, don't you want to have more kids? Oh, you will never find a man that will marry you as, as, as a widow, as a celebrity, and, and as a mother. You know, you will always have issues. You will have to deal with being a second wife or marry an old man or do this or do that. And so a friend of mine who was a close friend of mine, he, he saw my plight and he just said, you know what, Stella, we know each other. Let's just do this and, and let's just get married. And just, you know, that was probably a mistake because he was a great friend. But after eight months, it didn't work out and we just went our separate ways. And um, I thought that was the end. And then I married for a third time. This time it lasted for nine years, but it didn't work out. The details I might not want to share right now. But as we go along, when you get to know the real me, then I will leave you to decide what could have gone wrong because the media went off on me. But here I am, still standing. Like I said, without telling you details, oh, this happened, that happened, or defending myself. By the time you get to know the real Stella, you would know exactly what could or could not have happened. But enough of me talking about the serious, serious things. I wanted to get that out of the way so you would know exactly what was going on now. Moving forward, you are going to see the fun Stella, the real Stella, straight from my heart to you. We're going to have fun. But most importantly, you will know me. And hopefully someday I will get to meet you all and I will get to know you. We will become friends. But don't go anywhere. I'm coming right back. Welcome back. Forgive me, my crew here, they're making me go crazy. Anyway, enough of the serious talk. We're gonna have fun. You guys don't know, I sing, I dance. I love to have a lot of fun. I have a new company called Adiva Networks, okay? We published five editions of our magazine, Adiva Magazine, already. I'm still filming in America. I'm still teaching. I'm still being a great mom. I'm doing a lot of things that I really, really can't wait to share with all of you. We're gonna have a fun ride, that I promise you. And you're gonna see it. Only on Angel TV. Tell everyone, your neighbor, your sister, your boyfriend, your friend, your spouse, whoever you see, tell them. Have you seen Stella Donas' diaries? It's on Angel TV. Do not miss it, okay? Stick around. Let's have fun together. I'll see you again next week, okay? All right, guys. It's not who people say you are. It's who God says you are. Bye. She's so beautiful.